Hello, thank you for joining me and my dog Dylan today. I'll be reading from my second book, A Hard Nut to Crack in the Boomer's Tale series. Chapter One, Disappearance. Nana Weathers looked out the door and called, Hey you two, come in now. Dinner's almost ready. Boomer, I'll race you to the door, Chloe said. Okay, but we know who's going to win. Four paws are always better than two. When we got inside, Chloe went to wash her hands. The doorbell rang. Excited, I yipped. It's okay, Boomer. I've got it, Nana Weather said. When she opened the door, Robbie, our friend, shouted, Hoppy's gone. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find him. Mom went to the grocery store, and while she was gone, I let Hoppy out to potty in the backyard. I went back into the house for a few minutes to finish up some homework on the computer. When I came back outside and called him, he didn't come. The fence gate was open. Chloe came out of the bathroom. What's wrong? She asked. Robbie told her and added, when mom returned, she helped me look for Hoppy. We went through the neighborhood shouting his name and whistling. No luck. Now it's getting dark and I'm really worried. Robbie pulled out a striped piece of paper from his pocket. I found this candy wrapper on the ground outside the fence. I don't eat this kind of candy. Why would it be on the ground? He handed it to Nana Weathers. She said, Boomer, come. She put the wrapper to my sniffer and let me sniff, sniff. I smelled Chloe's favorite. She loved anything with chocolate, like chocolate cake, chocolate brownies, and chocolate sprinkles on top of ice cream. I also smelled Robbie, grass, and a human I didn't know. Nana Weather showed the wrapper to Chloe and asked, do you eat this kind of candy? No, Nana. Well, Boomer's gotten a good sniff, which may prove useful. I'm going to put this away in a safe place for now. 